and welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing a video all about my exam um i have been getting asked a lot of questions in the comments on my last video on my exam day video so i'm doing a video all about my exam and i'm letting y'all know the tea i'm letting y'all know how it was everything i looked at every single comment that had questions and i answered them i have my notes here um and then there was someone that asked me three questions in a comment and i didn't come back to it i didn't ignore you i just wrote those questions down so that i could answer them um so a lot of people who had questions i didn't answer them just because i knew that i was going to be doing this video so that i could just do it once so yeah i'm going to be doing a video all about the exam so if you guys want to see and hear about the exam then go ahead and just keep on watching but first will this even be a getting things done video if i didn't show you guys a new tumblr <sighs> look at this beauty those are my monogram and look at this oh my gosh i am so in love with this i just got it um friday it's monday and i've been using it non-stop this is definitely my favorite it's a 32 ounce i believe and she has a new style of cups that she uses so this is just it's so beautiful you guys it's me even my husband was like okay that cup is worth the buy like i guess so it's cheetah print on one side and then she split it with a rose gold strip and then it's rose gold and silver glitters and it is just so cute my friend got one too so i will leave her facebook down below where you can order from her but look at that and I'll also be drinking coffee. This is still my first cup of coffee and it's 11. And then I have my cherries. So let's get into this. Okay, so first things first, my test date was May 14th. Um, so it's the 25th today, so a couple weeks. Is that a week? A couple, almost a little bit, I don't know. It was May 14th, as you guys know, and a couple of my vlogs you guys know that my test have been pushed back twice before we actually were able to take it so we were supposed to end up we were supposed to take it april 6th and then it got pushed back until april 14th and then we didn't take it until may 14th so it was a month in between when we were supposed to take it at home we we're gonna take it at home and have a proctor and they were gonna watch us take it but we didn't even get to do that because the corona we had one on lockdown um missouri did so we weren't able to take it um so yeah that was the date and that was all the drama with that just being able to take it um so now about the test so we asked to be there at 8 30 to get our computers turned on to use the bathroom she had to come through and check us we weren't allowed to wear our apple watches i wore my ring and then i wore my bracelet that my mom had got me the day before for mother's day but she just had to check it to make sure that there wasn't any like writing on it or anything like that um we weren't allowed to have anything to drink no water no nothing um so my computer actually was not logging in um and she was not able to help us log into the NHA account. So I tried like a hundred times. I reset my password like a hundred times and it was just so stressful. I was about to cry and walk out. Um, so yeah, it was a struggle. It was a struggle and it took me about 15 minutes to get logged in and people kept asking me like, were you getting logged in? And I was just ignoring them because I was so upset. And I'm like, I just logged into this yesterday like the day before just to make sure that everything was right and it didn't work so that was just the devil messing with me it was but i eventually just had to copy and paste my email and um i changed my password and it worked out and then i had to go step out of the room and like breathe because i was so frustrated and i don't didn't want that negative energy while i was taking the exam um so that was that 
and then we were told that the question the test would be 150 questions well it was 180 and we didn't know if the first 30 were like extra points or if they were just practice questions or if they were actually graded because we didn't know that there was 180 until the test started so we couldn't ask questions um so to this day i still don't know if those were actually um like were they counted or not and our test was weighted i think i said that it was weighted so maybe one question here was worth five points and one was worth one or whatever so um yeah um we were allowed to use the bathroom if we needed the only thing is is that if we went to the bathroom and it took me four minutes i wouldn't get that four minutes back the kids are and my husband are outside in the garage um but yeah if it took me four minutes to use the bathroom i was not going to get that time back um so i just held it i went to the bathroom before but you know you get really nervous and then you feel like you have to use the bathroom i just held it until i was done um the test was definitely full of trick questions some of the answers were the exact same except for like one word so you really 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 had to read your questions and a lot of them you like our our lab instructor told us read the question know the answer go pick it and i feel like they knew that we were being taught that because then you saw the answer or what you thought was correct and it was actually wrong um so yeah you really had to read each question and there was one that i just kept reading over and over and over again trying to find the difference in between them and it took me after like five times and i was like oh okay 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 so yeah and i took about three minutes per question i read my question multiple times before i even looked at my answers just so that i could actually kind of figure out what the answer was now trust me on that test there were some that i just did not know the answer to because i've never seen a question like that before which we have a group chat for my class and a lot of people were saying that there was just questions they didn't even know like they had never seen anything like that even with our schooling and stuff like that like they had never seen anything like it and so it was definitely some questions on there that i don't remember if you're through nha just be ready for that um or maybe our teacher didn't teach us that stuff i don't know but yeah um and everyone in my class had a different test um there were supposed to be three versions but each class had like was so small like there was four people of mine that took it so maybe two of us in that class had the same test but since we took it in such small groups no one had the same test so it was kind of hard to be like hey what did your test focus on and things like that because no one had the same test um so yeah and then my test was mainly on ekg and I'm so glad that I read over that chapter before, um, like the night before I sat down and I read over the EKG chapter because I was like, what if I get the EKG test? Um, and I did, and I'm so glad that I just kind of crammed just that information in. Um, and then I also had like general patient care, which um, was like vitals and triaging patients and things like that kind of like um if you have a you have five patients in the waiting room which patient should come first and things like that so that's what my test mainly focused on um i had one math question just one which i probably didn't get right i was not good at math it was converting it was converting from um like if the doctor prescribed this amount of medicine and it only comes like this then how much do you give them so i'm pretty sure i got it okay so the test was overall harder than what i had expected um our instructor was telling or was telling us um that the practice tests are harder the practice tests are harder the practice tests are harder well and then she told us that the certification exam would be easier than the practice test I don't think that was true. I don't know if you guys are taking practice tests or not, um, but the practice tests were definitely definitely easier than our tests. 
studying did help but the test like I said it did have questions on there that I I just didn't know like I didn't know what it was and I'm not even gonna lie there was one question that I had on suffixes and prefixes and I forgot so I don't know if I got that question right I had one question on suffixes and prefixes and I don't know if I got it right or not but I tried my hardest you guys it was like what we dealt with with the whole coronavirus thing it was definitely hard and I cannot it was I took a one week break from studying just because she had emailed us and was like we don't know when we're going to be taking our test so I was like you know what I'm going to stop studying because I'm overdoing it and I'm stressing myself out even more I was so stressed out if you guys would have seen me I didn't film for a long time because that's just how stressed I was. I didn't even know what to talk about. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I have a couple of questions. So, um, question number one, and this um, lady asked me all three of these questions um, in one answer or in one comment. So I promise I wasn't ignoring you. I just knew that I was going to answer these questions in this video. So, um, I just didn't want to have to answer it more than once. So here you go. Um, she said over how much time did you study? For example, every day or every other day. Um, while I was in my internship, I studied every day on lunch. Um, I had an hour, sometimes an hour and a half lunch on internship, depending on how busy they were that day. And so I would take all of my stuff with me to the cafeteria, you know, all my books, all my highlighters and stuff like that. And I would study. And then whenever I got home, I would study as well for about an hour. Um, and then once the whole coronavirus actually started here in the, or in Missouri, I guess, then like I said I did take a week off because I was just so overwhelmed and then once we finally got our test date I did start back studying every single day sometimes twice a day um because once we got our test date we didn't have that much time to actually study we were supposed to take it April 14th and then we didn't find out until April I mean May I think it maybe was we got like two weeks before we knew what our test date was maybe a week and a half to two weeks um so I did study every day until then I had a babysitter so sometimes I would just while she was out here with the kids I would just go in my room and study or um I would go drive and sit out somewhere outside if it was nice and just study um so yeah it just kind of depended but a lot of the t most of the time it was every single day um, and then she said, how long was the test? Um, so it was supposed to be 150 questions, but it did turn out to be 180. Um, like I said, I don't know if those tests were practiced or if they were graded, if they were extra credit, I don't know. Um, but we only had three hours to take it. I think I took an hour and a half. That's about how long I took my um, practice test and I did good on them. So I took about an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes to take my exam. Um, and I did flag a bunch of questions and I went back and read over them and, and things like that. So I had 14 questions that I had flagged and that I had to go back over, of course. Um, and then I was done. I was the first one done in the classroom and my computer froze. She said that there was like um, difficulties with the computer once you wanted to see your grade and everyone that would click it, like to see your grade, it would freeze. So she would have to write down your score on a sticky note and um she'd write down your score on a sticky note and then your license number and I just sat I took my glasses off and I just sat like this for the longest and I was just sitting like this like why is she not coming what's going on and then she came up to me and she touched my shoulder and she's like you passed and I was like <sighs> and I just took the biggest deepest breath and it was just so nerve-wracking if you guys watch my last video you'll see me crying and stuff like that um and then she said tips on what to expect in general um just like I said it was it was a really tricky test so you you just have to go over everything you don't feel confident about every single chapter you don't feel confident about 
because it's really hard to say what to expect. I didn't even know what to expect walking in there and I was completely mind boggled walking in and seeing that half of the stuff that we went over the whole school year was not even on the exam. So it's just kind of, I don't, I, I can't tell you what to expect because it's so hard, but I would say whenever you take your practice exams or if you have your NHA study guide, do the tips that I told you guys to do. It helps the information stick. And whenever I would take my exams um, or my practice test, whatever question I missed, I wrote down the question and I wrote down the answer and I wrote down why that answer was correct. And that's kind of how I studied and I made my own study guide that way. And I wasn't good in microbiology. I wasn't good on EKG. I wasn't good on... There was another one, like the um, pathophysiology and disease processes. So those were the main ones that I studied when it came close to the test time. And that's really all I can say is just study, 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 because it's hard to say what to expect because I was not, ex I, I didn't even know what to expect when I went in there. It was the biggest struggle. So all right you guys so i hope that you all enjoyed this quick video all about the ccma certification exam i hope that this gave you guys a lot of um like intake on what the exams would be like or how it was for me and how it could possibly how it could possibly be for you so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up also don't forget to comment and subscribe Guys, we are at 699 subscribers as I'm recording this video. So that means that once we hit 700, I will be doing another giveaway. But at the end of this video, right at the next slide, I had two subscribers that won my last giveaway and those will be getting sent out on Wednesday. I have them already all packaged, ready to go. So those are getting sent out on Wednesday. So if you want to enter the next giveaway, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And the only thing that you have to do is be the first one to comment on this video, to like it and comment on it, and to be subscribed to my video or to my channel. So like I said, you have to be subscribed and you have to be the first person to comment. And all you have to do is put comment or you have to be like first person or anything like that, just as long as you're the first person, you win. Super simple. So I will see you guys in my next one. I love you guys so much. You guys gave my last video so much love. I appreciate all the congratulations because you guys are why I'm here. And I thank you so much for your love and support. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.